Hey everyone, today I'm bringing you one of the hottest trends for spring, sleeves. Seriously, all of my favorite retailers are selling them right now, and Taylor has this adorable jumpsuit, Anthropology has this super cute dress, J. Crew has this button back top, White House Black Market has this beautiful flowy top, and I have McCall's 7542. I talked about this top a little bit in my January makes video, but I wanted to show it to you on me and also show you how I styled it for work. P.S. It's also just as cute with jeans. So I went to one of my favorite hidden spots in Charleston, the Gibbs Museum of Art Garden, to model my new favorite pattern. This fabric is something I found in the clearance section at Joann's. I don't know the fabric content because hashtag bad vlogger, but I'm guessing some blend of poly, rayon, and lycra. It does have a little bit of stretch to it. I paid only $2.50 a yard for this luxurious feeling fabric, making this a less than $5 top. I made view D, but honestly, every view on this top is so cute. The pleated version is at the top of my spring to-do list. I'm planning it in a seersucker. I also love view A in a rayon chalet or other super lightweight fabric. I'm going to make another version of D out of some pink tinsel I got from Indie Sew last year. The key to making D, and therefore B, is finding a fabric with a beautiful drape. C and E can hold up to a little bit more structure, like cotton, and A requires something really lightweight to make sure your arms don't look like they have dog cone collars on them. I seriously love my top, even if the hook and eye in the back doesn't hold, and I can't wait to sew up the other versions. What version is your favorite? You can't go wrong with any of these, and what's really awesome is that you can add this sleeve to virtually any bodice pattern you have. Add it to dresses, or jumpsuits, or jackets. Seriously, anything with the sleeve would look amazing with one of these sleeve details. I hope I have your creative juices flowing. Can't wait to see what everyone comes up with. Follow me on Instagram to see more of my makes, and until next time, bye!